it going everyone? Today I have a very, very exciting auction video. Uh, I've been doing these on and off for the better part of the last year or two, and it's been quite a while since I've done coverage of a live auction here. And this is probably one that is definitely worth covering. Uh, I actually had the owner of this car email me to let me know that the car was being listed, and I've had a few people send it to me over the past week since it's been live on Cars and Bids. But as you can tell from the title, is a 2011 Saab 94X Aero. Saab enthusiasts like myself and probably you that are watching know what the 94X is. It's pretty much Saab's last ditch effort at a crossover SUV because as we all know, crossovers are becoming more and more popular and that trend really sort of started around the time that the 94X came out. So had Saab had more time, maybe the 94X would have ended up being successful, um, but that's a topic for an entirely different video. But the 94X is essentially a Cadillac SRX. It's on the same chassis. It shares a lot of the same parts. Obviously the body is completely different. The interior is completely different, but they are on the same chassis. So that's kind of the car that it most compares to. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about this specific car because it is pretty cool. So here's the auction. It is on cars and bids. Again, 2011 Saab 94X Aero. Two owners, 300 horsepower turbo V6, all wheel drive, and some modifications. It is not every day that you see a 94X with modifications. I mean, it's not even every day that you see a 94X, period. I think as Doug DeMiro wrote in his little like uh, excerpt here, he said something like, it's more rare than a Ferrari F50, which is pretty cool to think about. So the car has 126,000 miles. It is diamond silver metallic, six speed automatic, 2.8 liter V6 and it has a black interior clean title. So with 13 minutes left here, the current bid is at $12,877. I've been following this all week. It's kind of slowly been going up. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a cool bidding war at the end here because when these come up for sale, uh, if you want the car, you kind of have to buy it when one comes up for sale, especially if it's an Aero and a very nice condition one like this. We'll go ahead and take a look at some pictures here in a second, but I do want to go over some of the highlights of it. Uh, 20 inch alloy wheels, ELSD, rear roof spoiler, power operated lift gate, heated and ventilated front seats, carbon fiber effect interior trim, uh, modifications V-Tuner Stage 0. Uh, I was aware that V-Tuner offered tuning software for the 94X and like the MG95, but I hadn't really heard of anyone that actually had used it. So it's cool. I mean, V-Tuner does excellent tuning work, especially on the 2.8 V6. Uh, so I'm sure that this car is legitimately pretty quick. So power comes from a 2.8 V6, uh, 300 horsepower, 295 foot-pound of tor torque in stock form. Um, dyno sheet is not available to confirm. V-Tuner stage zero for the 2.893s is like 320 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds. So I would assume that it's roughly the same for this 94X, but I don't want to, you know, make that make that statement. Modifications, V-Tuner stage zero mud guards and window tint. So some minor flaws, stone chips, stone chips, couple little dings and scratches. I mean, it's a 10 year old car at this point, has over 100,000 miles. It's obviously been driven quite a bit. So uh, it's not gonna be perfect, but as you'll see from the photos, it's pretty close to perfect. And then one of the big ones is some rust on the underbody. So speaking of rust, let's go ahead and take a look at these photos, see if there are some photos of the underside and see how bad the rust is. Uh, you can see that the seller took some time to get some fantastic photos of the car here. Uh, just really sharp looking car. Uh, these turbines on the 94X look really, really good. Of course, the light bar in the back too, which appears to be fully functioning. Those ice block headlights with that blue tint. So lots of exterior photos just kind of going all around the outside. Here's the interior and none of those buttons are peeled. It's very rare that on NG93s, NG95s, and 94X, just because of GM quality, uh, these interior buttons tend to peel. To see none of these peeled is quite amazing, honestly. So kudos. The car appears to be in very nice shape. I see just some little creases and tears on the leather there. That's probably just from getting in and out. You can see, I, when I looked at these photos earlier, I think this is a really cool and smart idea. The rear infotainment has it on too. I think this is the Top Gear tribute to Saab and they have it playing on all the screens, even the one up front. So that's a nice little detail. And another little detail about all 94Xs, I know the NG93 combis have it too, but if you look at the little rear 
hatch, I guess, for the storage down here where the spare tire is. The little latch for it is shaped like an airplane. I've just always thought that's really cool, little detail. Um, there, there's a better shot of it right there. Engine bay appears to be extremely clean. Okay, here's the underside. So looks like the exhaust is kind of rusted out a bit. Um, you know, not rusted out might not be the right term. It has rust on it. Uh, that's all service records and everything like that. But that is unfortunately the only shot of the underside. So it looks like there's some rust right here. I would assume there's no rust on the body itself, like in the wheel arches or anything like that. But uh, obviously either way, that's not really my concern because I am not buying it. But we are down to under seven minutes now and the bid is at the same price still. So I will catch up with you guys here in around six minutes when we're getting down to the end of it. All right, so I stepped away for two minutes to cool off because it's very hot in the garage and the bid has, I just keep hearing the little dings go off, 13,750. So hopefully that means we have a bidding war. We've gotten three more bids here in the last couple of minutes. Of course, it's a couple of minutes I stopped recording, but we're locked in and we're stuck for the rest of the uh, auction now. So one minute ago we had 13,000, then we had 13,600, and now we have 13,750. All by three different people too. So let's see what happens. We're down to uh, a minute and a half now. There's 13,850. And these are four different people all bidding on this. So let's see what this goes for. I'm thinking somewhere between 15 to 20K would be my guess. There's 13,950. So it's out oh, 14,160 in about two seconds it jumped up uh, two bids. So 14,160 now the high bid, and we are officially down to less than a minute now. So let's go ahead and see. Fit 14,500, and these are all different people bidding on this. That's the craziest thing. This guy, Extralicious, uh, he's been on it twice, but everyone else, and Ratcliffe. But these are five different people bidding on this, it looks like, so let's see. Yeah, Ryan, <laughs> here we go. All right, 14,700. 15,000. This thing has no business being as cool as it is. And I 100% agree because it's literally a random crossover. But just the rarity of it, it looks pretty cool. And kind of just everything about it is just really unique and, and, and cool. Okay, so my computer has decided to crash because it is a six year old Mac. And I guess that's just how these things go. But I have it screen recording on my phone here that I will put on the screen next to me right here. But the bid just hit 16,000 and we are uh, back up to a minute. So every time someone bids, if you don't know how this works, the clock resets to a minute. So uh, I guess I guess we'll see what happens. But $16,000, I'm gonna scroll down here so we can see who these highest bidders are. There's 16,250. 16,250, oh, 16,500, there we go. So we are at 20 seconds left, but it is at 16,500 by Jeff. Oh, and Ratcliffe just bid the 16,750 again. This car has 25,000 views on it. I mean, I don't know what the normal amount is for cars and bids, but that's a pretty significant amount, I would think, for an auction site. I don't know, though. Could be completely wrong in that. Instead of just bidding when it's at, like, 50 seconds, they all wait until it gets under 20 seconds and then bid again. Watch, I guarantee someone's going to bump it up to 17,000 here. But let's see. Let's see if Jeff is going to bid up to 17,000 or someone else. Yep, there he goes, 17,000. Like every time, every time they have to wait until it's under like 20 seconds. It's probably gonna happen again, but let's see, 17,000. All right, down under 20 seconds again. Let's see if we get another bid. Yep, there it is, under 20 seconds, right on cue. All right, well, I will catch up with you guys in about 20 seconds again when someone decides to bid right before the clock expires. All right, and here we go. I'm summoning a new bid. It is to 18 seconds. A new bid is going to come in any second now. There it is. All right, I, I oh, he skipped 17.5, he went to 17.750. All right, this is quite the bidding war now. Um, I also have it pulled up back on my computer now. Hopefully it doesn't freeze, but I'm gonna switch off of this small screen over here and we're gonna go to the big screen again, hopefully. 17.750, still the high note. I'm still trying to scroll down here. 
Oh my goodness, this thing is killing me. See if we get a bit of 18,000 coming in. Under 10 seconds, here we go. Is that the end of it or is my computer just being slow? Oh my God, the lag of the computer is just making it even more suspenseful. And there it is. Congratulations to Jeff. 17750. So with that said guys, that's really all I've got for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more auction videos like this coming up because there is a 35,000 mile Vigan that is also ending today. And I think there's also a SPG on bringing a trailer as well ending tomorrow. Uh, obviously those will already be done by the time this video goes up. But if you do want to see more auction videos, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.